Hey Earth Signs, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your weekly love general tarot reading for the week of January 24th through the 31st, 2018. This is for all the Earth Signs, er, um, <laughs> Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, this reading, again, is very general, so if you would like a personal reading, if this does not resonate for you, you can reach me at moonpietarot.com or download the Instant Go app where you can call, text, or chat with me there. It's a free download, and um, I know it's not available for everyone, but obviously if it is, that's just one um, avenue for you to utilize if you want to reach me. Okay, so... This is going to be your weekly reading for, I'm going to start with the singles, and then I'm going to move over to the couples. So do stay with me if you can. You can listen to either one. Um, sometimes those of you who are single find you resonate with the couples reading, maybe because you have a past lover um, coming back in or what have you. So it's up to you, however you want to listen to the reading, and we'll get started. Okay, Earth Signs. You're starting with the King of Pentacles. So for this, this is for the singles. Now remember, the Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, Four of Wands, the Justice card, and your overall energy is the Five of Cups. Okay. Earth signs. The overall energy is a feeling of loss, maybe regret, a feeling of being abandoned. Some of you may be feeling like um, you're alone or you are, you know, I feel like you're, you're, you're wanting someone to reach out to you with the Knave of Cups and you, you actually may hear from someone. I don't know who could be an earth sign another earth sign could be a libra uh i just feel like um some of you are feeling a loss of some sort and with the page of cups when i look at this card i always kind of feel like he, he's like really pissed because you know he he's trying to send a message he wants to open up his heart send a message about love or something but someone he feels like there's another person in the other person's life um so some of you might be feeling that way about some of you i feel like you could be could be feeling like every time you try to meet someone they're always with they always have a partner there's always someone else you know that they're connected to or you know that kind of stuff or when you you some of you may feel like oh, what's the point of reaching out because you know they're just going kind of a, a little bit of a cynical attitude or feeling like you know you're always longing <laughs> some of you may I'm not laughing believe me some of you may just feel like you're you're just when is it my ship going to come in like, when is it going to happen for me? I feel like some of you are just kind of feeling that energy. Um, we'll be feeling that this week. But I, I do feel like you're going to hear from someone. You could hear from a water sign. So if there's, you know, you're trying to connect or wanting to connect with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, there could be messages coming in or someone could be reaching out to you for this week. Um or it could be an earth sign who's reaching out with loving messages okay during this week so that's what this king of pentacles is now for some of you this could be your energy as well you know where you're uh, gaining some confidence even though you may be feeling lost or abandoned in your love life or just you know in general there could be someone new coming in um <clears throat> this person I'm picking up 
uh, is very practical. This is someone who's a business man or woman. They're very successful. And they just have this solid way about them. And even though in this picture, it looks like he's, you know, exposing himself to her, <laughs> you might find that they actually, that this person who may seem so reserved in their emotions actually exposes themselves to you. That's why I was saying you could be, it could be an earth sign that comes in with this, with some emotional messages, this earth sign it could be their sun, it could be, you know, their moon, their rising, they could have, you know, Venus, it could be anything. Um, I feel there, they could be, it could be attempting, they could be making a, uh, sending something that tempts you. I don't know what's going on with you uh, this week. I mean, prior to this, but I feel like with the Seven of Cups here, <clears throat> some of you you may you may meet someone who has commitment issues or you may hear you may be hearing from someone who makes an offer to you or reveals uh, something to you but this person really has some you know commitment problems <laughs> or commitment issues they, they have a lot of options on the table <clears throat> and I don't really feel though that you're like intimidated by that in any way. I feel like you might actually like that about this person. They're they're not someone who uh, is not desired by others. But you're not you don't want to be with someone that has a commitment issue if you're looking for that, right? Because that obviously isn't going to work for you. But I do feel like you know the other message I'm getting for others of you is that you might be hearing from someone who is accusing you of being um, uh, they could accuse you of being not available or that you have commitment issues or that you're too busy with other people and you don't have time for them and 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 you know they may say that they don't want to date you or they don't wish to get together with you because of that they may feel that you have you're too busy exposing yourself to lots of different men or women then that's for some of you that could come through that way you could be dealing with someone who um could be someone who wants to reconcile or or, or someone from your past who's missing you but is un but but is feeling jealous you know they just have maybe some jealousy issues going on um if you listen to the water sign reading that i just put up that talks a little bit about that so for those of you who are dealing with water signs it could be going on their side i think in the couple's part i was talking about it so the four of wands here I feel like there's going to be some type of coming together or celebration. Um, actually, you may actually say to another person, you know, I don't know what you've heard. I don't know what things have been told to you. If someone, you know, or if you're dealing with someone that has extreme jealousy issues, you may have to defend yourself and tell them that's not how you are, uh, that you are a commitment type of person. They could be viewing you as someone who's just too... You know runs around with a lot of different people some of you could also find out that the person that could be sending you messages or reaching out to you is actually married <clears throat> and they're just kind of like playing around with their options as well so a lot of this could go several different ways um, I feel like you'll know who this person is by the description of the king of pentacles uh, if that doesn't resonate for you then this reading might not be for you but justice is here so you know <laughs> there's a sense of righteousness here i feel like you know if there's some truth that's going to come out about another person it's it's going to come out this week whether you're cross watching or you're listening for yourself there's going to be truth okay justice will be served things will actually balance out um, if you have to def defend yourself 
against someone who's accusing you of something, I think you're you're going to get your way in that situation. Or if there's another person who is pulling the tricks and games with you, um, justice karma will be served to them. Okay, um, it, if they're married, they're going to get caught, or they're going to get found out. Maybe not by their spouse, but if it's coming at you, you're going to find out about it for sure. Because the justice card, this is about honesty and truth. <clears throat> so, it's, you know, it's like a cause and effect kind of thing. It's a win-win situation. You know, no matter what happens, even if you feel like you're losing something, you're actually going to win this week, right? But there are going to be some messages coming to you. Now, I always feel like the Page of Cups is someone who's reaching out emotionally, especially if you are, uh, have been feeling abandoned or lost in your love life. But there's a little bit of trial and error happening during the week. Um, but I feel like it's all going to work out. For those of you who have someone who's accusing you of certain things, um, I feel like they are going to come around and realize that, you know, with the Four of Wands here, uh, you do possess that energy of someone who is, um, you know, Truthful, uh, uh, or because it's next to the justice card, I say that. But there, this card can be about homecoming. So this could be someone from your past returning back, um, and working out some differences between the two of you. You could meet someone at a wedding, also if you're single. Yeah, let's see. Uh, there aren't many January weddings, <laughs> I don't think. But this could ener this energy could play out later. Uh, or you could meet someone at a family gathering or a party or some type of a celebration. You could meet this person who could reach out to you and express to some to some degree how they feel about you or some degree what they're about if they have a little bit of jealousy or possessiveness going on with them. Um, but I do feel like, too, you're, you will have options and you will have to decide if this is someone from your past coming back, reaching out to you, you will need to make a decision about them. This person could be coming back and just like taking off their clothes and just saying, let's get it on. And you will have to decide if that's something you want to do with that person. I feel like it's, it's actually for some of you could happen and you're going to be happy about it. Both of you, right? If, if it's not someone from your past coming back, some of you, it could be a Libra. This could just be uh, someone new that you meet that's like, you know, wants to have fun. And, and, and you might just decide, uh, you know what, you've been feeling lonely. You've been feeling, you know, just you need some affection. And, you, you know, you've been meeting a lot of different people. And <clears throat> no one seems to be really striking it for you. And along comes this King of Pentacles who actually might just do it for you this week, right? A uh, little possessive energy with him. Mm, but I don't feel like you're going to mind so much. <laughs> All right. So that was for the singles. And now I'm going to do the couples reading. I'm not going to put timestamps. If you want to fast forward or leave timestamps, I love it when you guys do that. I really appreciate it. It's very helpful. Um, but if you want to listen through, I'll just reiterate again. So your February readings will be up in a few days, hopefully in a few days. I like to try to get them out on the 26th. So if I can do that, I will. If not, it would be soon. And so this couples is for, <clears throat> excuse me, those of you who are married, married uh, in an exclusive relationship, for some of you, if you want to listen to it for dating, you can also listen to it for, uh, you can also listen to the singles for dating and try to see if it ties in. Okay. Um, 
and this can also just be if you if you know you've got someone on your mind that in your brain yeah, you think you're a couple but you're really not so that would be like you know if you're a fan of a movie star and you have it in your brain that this is your boyfriend but it's not that then that's just weird but however you want to do it is up to you i'm just providing the reading okay one more shuffle and then we'll start so you're starting with the seven of swords and you have the six of swords wheel of fortune nine of wands four of pentacles look the king of pentacles again okay and the other person knight of swords page of swords okay so the person you're dealing with, I'm just going to start with that. <laughs> you could be dealing with an earth sign. Or again, as I described in the couple or the singles reading about this person, if you didn't listen to it, someone who's just business minded, um, you know, he, he or she owns a business and, and they're very, um, what's the word, like very practical, solid type of a person. They have material success. They're grounded. Uh, someone could, it could be older. Um, they have a little bit of possessive energy. Sometimes when they're in the reverse, they can be uh, I was just thinking they're not often someone who is overly emotional in the sense that they are vulnerable with their emotions or they express themselves constantly but in this deck he's pretty much exposing things uh, now i don't know if you're involved with someone who's exposing himself to women on the side of the street uh to each his own but you know it could even go that far so their energy really is the knight of swords and the page of swords so you've got someone here that you're dealing with who is stalking the heck out of you honestly the page of swords is always about spying someone who's like seeking truth or someone who's they've got that the prying eyes is someone who's an investigator someone who's watching you this person not someone this person that you are dealing with has been watching you okay and with the knight of swords uh they could be desiring to come to see you uh they're kind of on a mission i feel like when it comes to you this is like uh someone who charges in this is someone who just takes they are fearless and that's their energy so i don't know what's been going on with you but you're dealing with someone and it doesn't have to be an earth sign they could have earth somewhere in the chart but your other your other person i don't know if you're still together or if you're not or if there's a temporary break but this person is you know they're watching you for some reason and, and i don't know why they're watching you you have the seven of swords here maybe because there's been some kind of a disconnect or there's been a lack of conversation or talking to each other um, someone's feeling <clears throat> someone's feeling betrayed or maybe there was someone's feeling like there's some type of an affair or something going on like a like a third party situation or there's infidelity and it, it's you it could be you thinking that or the or or your other person it's really just this energy that's happening between the two of you okay and i'm seeing with the seven of swords here that there's some kind of a disconnect you're both not speaking to each other right now You've got your backs towards each other and you're both feeling hurt and then you reduce down to the six of swords 
So this is a card about transition, wanting to change the situation here. And even the wheel. So there's two travel cards here. And the Knight of Swords can be about traveling. So there's a desire to transition and to move away from a situation or uh, get away, not break up, but get away from this that, that is currently happening this week. To both of you to turn around and speak to each other, turn around and talk to each other. I think this was kind of similar to the singles reading. Okay. Um, and the wheel here. You know, I feel like there will be messages from this person that you could be dealing with um, about, uh, and it will be favorable, okay, um, about trying to change the situation, uh, about, you know, discussing, discussing about the disconnect that's been happening. right and there could be someone you know your person could be closing the distance or trying to close the distance and you also could be doing that you could have someone who also feels like you're the one who's out exposing yourself to all kinds of people <laughs> You know, or you're the one who's, uh, maybe, they, maybe, I, I'm not feeling like, I'm feeling a lot of possessive energy happening here, you know, and I was saying that about the King of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands is really just telling me that there's a desire to regroup here and get back in the ring with each other. Because I don't feel like either one of you is happy with this disconnect. There, this Four of Pentacles is telling me that, you know, there's this energy of not being able to let go. Even though there's, uh, you know, the, both of you could just be not speaking right now. Or feeling betrayed or, or whichever for many, many reasons. It doesn't have to be infidelity because, you know, I'm not seeing... Um, a third person here in this picture there's a horse but you know or maybe there is infidelity with a horse who knows but I don't really feel like I feel like it's just not talking for whatever reason is going on maybe things are good in the relationship but there's this lack of connecting for some reason but you know if this is your person, they're coming back in and they're like, hello, where have you been? Who are you with? What are you doing? They're watching you right here to see what you're doing and they want to reconnect with you. So that page of swords is telling me, you know, they're, uh, usually the pages are always about messages, you know, so it's also about them reaching out too. I'm being truthful with you. You're going to get some truth, truthful, truth, mes truth messages coming through this week from, you know, even if it's not an earth sign, whomever your person is that you're dealing with. And I feel that it's going to be a, a favorable week, honestly, with the Wheel of Fortune here. It's going to work out for you. There may need to be some conversation. There will be communication about why this about this what was going on here and that's why i you know i love the the nine of wands because i always i always picture with the nine of wands like a boxer who's in the boxing ring and he's fighting and then between each um uh between each i don't want to say belt <laughs> Because about, I believe, is the whole thing. So in between sets, I don't even know what you want to call it. They hit each other and then they, the bell rings and then they go back to their seats. And they take a moment to regroup and refresh and figure out their next plan of attack. You know, because everybody needs to take a time out just to refresh and regroup. And I feel like that really what 
it was going on, but I feel like you're dealing with someone who is extremely jealous and possessive and is trying and is not really believing that, you know, if you've been away on business or you've been doing, uh, you've had other uh, family issues, the things you needed to take care of, I feel like um, you're going to explain to that person that, you know, you just maybe needed a little time to yourself, you know, and, and they're not being very trusting, right? So... I don't know. Just watch out for this energy this week. It's only for the week. It may not even happen this week. It could be, it could have already happened to some of you, or it could be happening the following week. Um, just keep your, you know, your wits about you. If you need to defend yourself or you need to regroup and, you know, have a conversation with your person who is, you know, just a little bit out of control with all this sort of energy, um, as I said, somebody could be dealing with an air sign if I didn't say that. Um, but let's not get to uh, what I want to say, focused on the signs. And just if you know who this is, then you know who it is. Okay, so that was your reading for the week. And uh, look out for your February readings coming up soon. All right, thanks. Take care.